What's going on YouTube? Excellence here, bringing you guys another video back here onto the channel. This time what I got for you guys today is how to unlock Damascus Camo in two days, updating this series for Season 4 here in Modern Warfare. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy the content or if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe with those notifications turned on. When you're in 10,000 subscribers and if you guys want to be the 10,000 subscriber, that would be honestly awesome. I don't want to waste too much time here. If you guys are curious about the gameplay in the background, it's going to be a 31 kill Warzone game uh, with the FA i believe and the class setup to that will be in the description below i know some people get curious when i don't make a video specifically on the class setup that i'm using in the video when it comes to these certain tip videos so class setup for that will be in the description below i'm gonna go over a general overview of this video here but if you guys are curious to just skipping to a certain time frame within the video timestamps will be listed in the description and the pinned comment below just in case you guys want to watch a certain part over once or twice or if you want to come back to the video at a different time that's totally cool we're going to start off with things in modern warfare currently that you can uh, use to expedite your time frame while getting this camo so as of right now i like to kind of make these videos towards the end of the season just because the best playlists are usually out and that is the case here in season four again they have put uh, shipment 24 7 and shoot house 24 7 two of your best friends that you're going to use in this whole camel grind whether you're just starting now or you're just kind of finishing up these are these two maps are going to be your best friend regardless so absolutely grind the playlist like crazy this week it'll just be worth your while in the long run it just helped it just helps so much and a lot of these tips are going to be for these specific maps in general so please utilize the playlist as much as you can i promise it'll be the best benefit for you all right we're going to transition in here to the hardest the easiest and if you guys see me looking over here over here on my screens because i'm reading a script not a full script just like kind of bits and pieces that i can kind of just go off of in general but in my opinion the hardest the easiest guns that you guys can do are the starting from the hardest that is the launchers then the melee weapons then the uh snipers marksman rifles assault rifles smgs LMGs, shotguns, then finishing off the pistols are probably the easiest. Now you guys can either do these in hardcore or core. Uh, certain classes are going to be easier in the hardcore mode, like the riot shield. That's going to be a lot easier in the uh, hardcore playlist because it's just going to be a one-hit kill rather than the two-hit in the core playlist. So you kind of just need to know your strengths and weaknesses when it comes to certain uh, different categories and certain guns in general, just so you be able to like not waste time doing a certain challenge in one playlist when you could be getting it done two times faster in another playlist. I'm going to remind you guys that only 39 of the base weapons need to be done to achieve the Damascus camo, and that's just the guns that shipped with the game back in October and November of last year but I know a lot of people didn't get the game back then and a lot of people have just bought it like if they got Warzone they've purchased the multiplayer side of it just like after its release so I will list the guns that you don't have to get gold right away in order to achieve Damascus in the description below I need to put that out there earlier in the video so people will just get that locked in their brains the guns you don't have to do will be listed in the description below and of course if I miss a gun or two and if you guys can help me in the comments just comment down below so I can add it in there uh, for if I do miss one of course I also want to give you guys a reminder that you're only going to need gold if you want to unlock the obsidian camo it's a completely different grind I have a video and linked in the description below if you guys are just focusing on that right, we're going to hop in here to the maps that you guys are going to want to stick to while trying to go for this camo i'm going to remind you guys that the challenges are all fairly simple for the average player obviously some better players are going to be able to get this camo a little quicker maybe if you're not as good at the game as someone else or if you guys just don't have enough time maybe you guys work a full-time job or you guys got kids or whatever your situation may be if you're an average player you still should be able to get this camo here in modern warfare before like the time frame before the next game comes out whatever it may be but by far the best maps that you guys are going to want to play for this Damascus camel grind is definitely shipment and shoot house why i'm making this video right now is because the playlists are both the 24 7 playlists for those maps so again just utilize those playlists as much as you guys can other maps that are good to play on are all the small maps that include like rust hackney yard gun runner hovac sawmill basically try to stick to those smaller maps in order to just get the most out of your time played you know what i'm saying all right we're gonna go from maps into game modes here Game modes that are my personal favorites that I went for while using these uh, tips that I'm giving you guys here and just using the guns in general. I like to play Domination, both Core and Hardcore, and then I also like to play Hardpoint, Headquarters, and then Free For All works pretty well too for uh, some challenges that I'm going to give you guys here. Domination, both Core and Hardcore can work very well to your advantage. You guys can hold them in the spawns easier than other game modes. And depending on what you're going for, Domination can also be good for getting like your attacker kills for your RPG. I know the Joker is like super difficult sometimes for the um, for certain players, that is, to get those attacker and defender medals. So I'm going to show you guys some lines of sight that you guys can use on Shoot House to kind of expedite the process of getting those attacker and defender kills for your joker all right so when you guys are doing your joker lines of sight that i like to use and that really helped me get this camo done relatively quick 
Whereas these lines of sight here, uh, when you're using your Joker, if you're just shooting it right here off the beginning of the game, you have it, you shoot it, it'll most likely get a kill, and when they're on the flag, it's going to count as an attacker. Once you guys have this flag capped, you can shoot the Joker like down the line of sight here, and then run back to the flag like this, and just lay on it, and if it gets a kill, it's going to count as a defender and an attacker. Also, when you guys are playing hardpoint, I know I got the domination load up here, but when you guys are playing hardpoint, the one hardpoint that's back here, you'll be able to just shoot your Joker right here, and if they're on the hardpoint, you're going to get an attacker. I just wanted to throw those two lines of sight in the video really quick, just because those were the ones that helped me just tremendously through this whole process for all guns in general the hardpoint headquarters and domination and even free for all like i mentioned are going to be your best friends when it comes down to it all right i'm going to transition here into launcher specific challenges i know everybody is probably stuck on the launcher but what i'm going to recommend you guys do is level up every single gun in the game before you even attempt to go for any camos at all in saying this it's just going to be easier once it comes down to these launchers just because you're going to be able to simultaneously stack camos so you're going to end up doing less work in the long run and i'm saying this because you guys are going to need to work on your launchers at the same time as you're doing your primary weapons because if you guys don't you're going to end up being stuck on a launcher and you're just going to be completely burned out by the time the damascus camel is finally yours you might be one or two guns away from it and i think you guys much rather be stuck on like a m4 rather than a rpg or a strella or any other launcher in the game that is so that is one tip that i have to really stress to you guys i've said it in all these videos please 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 level up your guns as soon as you can and then also pair them at the same time that you're doing your primary weapons because I promise you it'll just be 100% more enjoyable. Alright, best maps to level up your launchers on that is, is definitely shipment for all the launchers except for the Joker. If you guys are really wanting to level up the Joker, I recommend doing it on a shoot house, but you guys can also do it on Rust or Shipment. It's really personal preference, but my favorite was personally shoot house. Other maps are obviously going to be those smaller maps. You're going to be able to get those kills. Quick tip for the launcher, like just the kills in general, if you guys are stuck just getting the kills for like the Joker, for example, you guys can also run around and knife the players while the gun's in your hand, and that will count towards a kill for that spray paint camel that you guys are working on. And for that, I recommend you guys playing hardcore because it is a one hit knife in that mode. So breaking it down, I recommend you guys do the Joker on Shoot House and Rust. RPG, all smaller maps are very viable for this gun. Strela, same as the RPG, all the smaller map. And then the same with the Pila also. Now when you're shooting down things with your RPG and your Strela, I know that's probably gonna be one of the most commented things on these this whole series here it is difficult to shoot down uavs and other things now what i'm going to tell you guys here is also very universal for the other two launches in the game once you guys have them all leveled up you'll be able to simultaneously stack those camos while shooting down things in the air so you guys only actually have to shoot down 75 streaks for it to count for your both air and your ground streaks now you only have to shoot down 75 counter uavs or personal radars or each either of the two VTOL ships also count for ground streaks for some reason. So if you guys are stuck on that for those weapons, just have that in the back of your mind. But that's the reason why I recommend you guys leveling up the launchers before you even start going for your camos, just because it will count for your vehicle destroys, your air ground streaks. So you'll be able to get like three or four camos done, depending on what you're doing, using one gun at once. And it just really just speed up that process for you guys in the long run. And you guys are also going to say, well, how can I just shoot down the radars and the counter UAVs? when the other team may not be running and that's what it's just going to come down to man it's just a whole bunch of luck and it kind of even sucks that i'm even saying that they made the, these launchers a little difficult for like the average player to get done or if you're maybe even slightly below average a little bit more difficult for you just because those enemies won't be calling in those score streaks as much as like another really good player in their lobbies now what i recommend you guys to get those score streaks up a little more is run a care package and emergency airdrop and just throw it into the enemy spawn and hope they pick it up and luckily you might be able to get one or two score streaks done in that match for when you're doing that little strategy there and also i know drop zone comes here and there in the weekly playlist and i promise you that'll expedite your process and getting your launchers gold and then eventually damascus even faster so make sure you guys utilize the drop zone playlist once it comes in the game transitioning here into the melee tips here i got the shield is most easily done to hardcore obviously like i just mentioned a couple minutes ago so if you guys are stuck on your riot shield shipment hardcore is going to be your best friend i know a lot of people are probably going to be stuck on like the three kill streaks i think it is or the two kill streaks i can't remember the exact number it is but you have to do it an absurd amount of time i think it's like 25 times you have to get like two kill streaks done it's like 25 times that you got to get your three kill streaks done and that is mostly easy done in shipment hardcore just because the spawns are like hectic as hell i'm sure you guys all know by now and a lot of the times you'll just be able to catch people off guard hit them in the back or just camp one of the crates either one works for you guys but just be aware they could just spawn right behind you but it's still getting done a lot quicker than if you guys were to play ground war for example all right 
and then the knife isn't really that bad the best map that you can really do that on is also shipment but you can also do that on other maps run dead silence it helps out a ton if you guys are using it the knife is honestly not as bad as the riot shoot the riot shoot is pretty brutal to do in my opinion the knife is definitely not as bad i actually had a decent amount of fun using the knife just running around and knifing people all game it was actually fairly fun to do you won't really be pulling your hair out too much when it comes to the knife but the one that i had trouble with was the kills while injured and my tip to you guys is just throw a thermite on the wall in hardcore run by it really quick and then you should be able to get your kills while injured simultaneously while just killing people normally in hardcore while you're injured and your best maps for those again shipment shoot house all the small maps but if you guys can't get those maps in the rotation you're just gonna have to play a power position on a bigger map like i don't know back lot to camp in the middle building and wait for someone to run past you and then just knife them in the back or something like that all right, I'm going to bring it into some general tips here for earning Damascus Camo, what you guys should be keeping in the back of your mind while you're doing these Camo challenges. You guys are going to have to accept that this Camo is a grind. It's not hard necessarily, it's just more tedious than anything, and it will take a little bit of time depending on your skill level, and I'm going to rate the skill levels just in a few minutes here. So yeah, accept that the Camo challenge is difficult, and once you accept that, once you're locked into the correct mindset... This camo challenge will just be 100% easier. You guys also have to realize this is going to absolutely kill your KD. You guys are just going to have to accept it and embrace it. It is what it is. Of course, it's just a game. But I know a lot of people do like to go for stats. Personally, I am one of those people. It did kill my KD while doing this camo. But eventually, over time, it has gone back up to where it was before. So it's honestly not a big deal. If you guys are just one of those players that like to get everything done in the game, of course, you're going to go for the camo regardless of your KD and whatnot. But I know there's some high-level players out there that don't go for the camo it's just because they're so focused on their stats do the hardest weapons first obviously that's going to be the most easiest way to do like i said you're going to want to start your launchers as soon as you guys are starting like your other primary weapons because you don't want to be stuck on a launcher for your last weapon you'll just be burned out i promise you guys that and of course take advantage of those double xp weekends and your weekly playlist if you guys need to level up your guns make sure you guys play a ton on the xp weekends and when shipment and shoot house roll around make sure you guys are hopping in those playlists and also playing as much as you can all right i got a difficulty scale based on your skill level here this is kind of just a broad skill level this is a difficulty scale here for achieving this camo depending on your skill level so we got the above average players up first i'm classifying these above average players at above a 1kd because i think because a 1kd is pretty average so anything above a 1kd like a 1.3 or an above for example that is your above average players and for those players this camo is going to be a medium difficulty to an easy difficulty depending on how far you've already got just by passively playing the game with certain camos for the average player this, this is going to be a medium to hard camo challenge for those average players just because they might not be able to get certain weapons done rather than the other ones and for the below average player here in season four this camo challenge is going to be hard to impossible for you guys to complete before the next game comes out now that being said nothing is impossible so if you guys aren't getting the next call of duty whatever that may be if or if you guys just really like modern warfare you guys can still unlock this camo obviously though some of the below average players might just have a little bit more difficulty than the above average players for example while going for certain camos in this challenge and i have to cover this if you have warzone and you don't have multiplayer there's absolutely no way you're getting damascus i would just focus on going for obsidian but that's going to do it here guys hopefully this wasn't too long of a video but if you guys did enjoy feel free to like the video and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on if you guys are brand new and enjoy the content like i said we're nearing 10,000 subscribers and if we can hit that number that would be absolutely amazing hope you guys did enjoy this video like i said it's been excellence peace out guys Falcon 3-0. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. Enemy UAV. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not going. Buy station identified. Call in my street, bro. Online. 
This is Falcon 3 0. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. I don't even have a 20 bomb yet. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. UAV overhead.
I believe in you. No, where did I just get killed from? He's just holding that? 